Hi, welcome to Tag Arcade. And this is a new series about learning the Unity event system. Uh, so during my last tutorial, I was doing my in-game button configuration. And I sort of got annoyed about the standalone input module about horizontal, vertical, submit, cancel. Uh, because it's something that I don't really use. But Unity put it in there, so it has to be useful. So I went ahead and tried a few things to sort of play around with it. And it has some nice features built in. So right now, I'm just going to go to our input module. And we have these, I guess, horizontal, vertical, submit, and cancel. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the horizontal information. And I'm just copying this from the Unity default ones. So I'm just going to just do left, right. Um, Gravity is going to be 3.001 and 3 for gravity, debt, and sensitivity. I'm going to do that, do the same thing for vertical as well. So it's going to be down, up, um, and the same thing, <clears throat> 3.001 and 3. So once we do that, let's go back into our configuration. And let's go ahead and hit play. Uh, so what that does is, if I just press up, down, left, and right, um, the menu system should highlight. But the reason why it's not highlighting is because we should change the, uh, I guess, the text fields to show that it's being selected. So I'm going to go from button all the way to button 5. And let's go ahead and change the highlight tint. So I'm going to click on this little highlight tint to get the color wheel. And of course, the color wheel is on my other monitor. And I'm just going to change it to like a nice orangey thing. And also within my event system, I'm going to say the first selected item is going to be my button. And I'm going to hit play. So when that happens, uh, the first item gets highlighted. And if I press up, down, left, right, you get a nice little functionality. If I go ahead and um, if I go ahead and go back into my input module and put in my submit button, then what I could do is instead of pressing a button to make something happen, I could actually just press my submit button as well. So it has nice functionality for built-in functions in Unity. So I want to see if my in-game button configuration can map directly into this Unity standalone input module, or if I could actually merge the two codes together. And that's what I'm going to be doing on this series. So I have done it, and I have been successful. And I'm going to show you how to do it as well. Uh, if you haven't guessed it, this is going to be a continuation of the, I guess the code itself actually is going to be a continuation of the in-game button configuration. Um, but this is more or less morphing the Unity event system to that, uh, I guess, to that code base. So that's this new series. Hope you enjoy it. Um, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it to your friends, especially if it helps you out in your game development project. So until next time, have fun and happy coding.